Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that bullying is a serious social issue among students because bullying has a lot of effects. Bullying does not promote social justice. It also does not portray on who a follower of Christ is. Bullying does not lead to any good because the bully does not give what is rightfully due to his fellow people, which is respect. Bullying comes in a lot of ways. It can hurt people physically, psychologically, emotionally, through the cyber world, and many more. The effects of bullying are intense due to the pain that is experienced by the victim. It leads people to depression in which will let the person think about the things to make himself happy. The use of drugs might be the effect of depression for the person to find happiness, but if he or she is still bullied, the attempt of suicide will result due to the lack of will to handle bullying. The attempt of revenge will also result, which leads to violence. Are we just going to let bullying continue? We are human beings, and each human being should be able to have the dignity to be a person. The fundamental dignity should not be taken away because it gives a person the right to live in this world. If the bully can't stop bullying, he or she could be given personal counseling sessions in which make him or her realize that bullying is wrong. Bullying is usually caused by a psychological need for dominance over others. And through the counseling, it could give the bully realizations that bullying is wrong. We should also have rights and responsibilities, which is for us to be able to develop respect in the society with each other. Our responsibilities as citizens are supposed to be caring for everyone and to be responsible for every action we have done. Bullying will be stopped if we all start to know our responsibilities. One way for the bully to realize that bullying is wrong, he should be given responsibilities for his or her class, which will help him to understand his class more and to be able to learn how to protect them. Solidarity also plays an important part in our lives because it lets us treat everyone equally and to accept everyone as who they are. Bullying will be stopped if we all work together by treating everyone fairly and if we all are united as one big family. One example to stop bullying through solidarity is to hold games or create teams that encourages teamwork. Distributing the students into groups can let people learn from each other and to socialize with each other. In this way, friendship will be made and the bully's desire for violence will be lessened. Bullying comes in many ways. It can be also present everywhere, either in school, playgrounds, or even at home. Bullying is a serious issue in society in which should be stopped through the solutions given, together, we could make a change in society. Not only we could change the lives of people, but also to save lives of people. The solutions offered will raise people's awareness and their initiative to do something about it as God's people to promote peace, love, and prosperity all throughout the community. The bystanders will also learn to act justly towards the act of bullying especially when the act of bullying is happening in front of them. For the bullies, on the other hand, they will learn to control themselves as they attain counseling and as they further learn their capabilities in other things so that they could concentrate on improving themselves rather than bullying others which bring them no good. As these things will change the community gradually, the younger generations will tend to follow and act justly against bullying in the future. At a very young age, because of the community that is now aware and against bullying, the students will tend to see and discover that bullying is not right. This discovery will be passed on and on until the world of bullying is stopped once and for all.
We live in a world where revenge and evil are present in a continuing cycle. It's about time we break this cycle and start a new cycle of goodness and social equality. Remember, do unto others what you wish others to do unto you.